everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be continuing the sims 4 not to bury challenge now i played quite a bit off camera um as you can see carmine is a young adult and she's currently in university and she has about four term days left which makes it's nothing weird she just has four term days in total like she had five and today was her first day of classes and she just came back now i did record about 40 minutes of content but when i was looking back at the footage i realized i didn't do too much but anyway i will give you a bit of a debriefing of what happened off camera so obviously i ended up getting erin to the top of her career and then i moved two of the children out so carmine lives on her own and y yasmin lives on her own phoenix it currently still lives with erin back in oasis springs uh we did get ruby a, not ruby carmine a dog named ruby and she is still in relationships with most of the sims that she was in a relationship with before only we do have one more addition and that is eugene um who is a married man now carmine ended up having two miscarriages uh i did record the second one but she had one when she was a teenager she got pregnant by fabian and then she had another one as an adult so there were two times where carmine could have had yellow gen but it kind of didn't happen but yeah so um, i started recording just now because i realized carmine has a level nine in the christmas go so she's almost mastered the skill that she needs and that on top of her um needing to kiss 10 sims i kind of decided like now would be a great time to start recording because red gen we're we're not close to done because we don't even have an air for yellow but maybe we should figure it out we still need to like leave someone at the altar and that probably is going to be reese even though we're not engaged to reese but i was thinking her relationship reese is very unsatisfied and you know what we should probably bring her out somewhere to propose so we're gonna go ask her out on a date and we're, we're gonna propose to her okay so we are currently at the restaurant reese did not wear anything nice she brother ugh. She, she's a random generated townie. What do we really expect? But yeah, let's go and request a table. Oh shit, I forgot. I can't request a table while on a date. Well, I keep forgetting that that is glitched. I keep forgetting that it's glitched. And I do it again and again and again where I can't request a table. Yeah, no, this was a terrible, terrible idea to come here. Um, well, Grim Reaper's calling. Oh, no. I don't want to be a reaper. Thank you though, Grim. Maybe I'll test that out with a different sim. But let's try to make this date a little more romantic. Caressing her cheek. Um, we can't do much about it. Like we can't socialize about a meal because we can't get a meal. But maybe we could um talk about cooking because we, we do like to cook and try to make it a good time. What, what do you do for a career, Reese? Maybe we should ask you to move in with us once we are, we're engaged. No. Apparently she did not like what we did. Reese is unemployed. That's amazing let's discuss healthy relationships we're not currently in a healthy relationship with you oh this girl's look amazing why don't we get you a nice gift too we'll get you a, a letter and bouquet you know to show that we we really do love you you know Th but we don't you know we want to make you feel like the greatest girl in the world even though we're literally having an affair with all these people you're my greatest adventure that is crazy carmine that is a crazy thing to say oh wow adventure carmine are you saying that she's just an adventure for you that she means nothing to you that you're just like well i mean her entire romantic wait a damn minute all right i um uh my bad and we are going to romance Reese a little bit more. Now, I don't know if since we have low romance, if she will actually want to get engaged. Girl, now is not the time to be eating snacks. I don't know what she's attracted to and what she's not. I never really cared enough to ask because we're not gonna actually get married to her. Relationship, change relationship. Let's propose. Let's see, will she accept her proposal? <laughs> Girl, that's probably the dumbest thing you've ever done. Dynamic wholesome. Yeah, yeah. This is totally wholesome. 
This is totally wholesome. What are you doing now? Spraying perfume? Girl, did you just tell her she smells? That's crazy. But I'm gonna end this date because it's a gold date and she's gonna go home. And we're gonna actually call up one of our other suit. Actually, we're gonna go find a new suitor. We're gonna find a new suitor. We're gonna go home and we're gonna find a new suitor. This is never who I wanna see when I'm coming home. Order of Lenore. Uh, well, hello. Oh, you're a teen, never mind. Let's get inside. Now, we are going to be inviting another person over and I can't have you ruining it. So I'm gonna need you to, we're not gonna invite over another person. We're going to actually invite over Fabian. Now Fabian, he got married. He got married and I think he has children. Yeah, he has two little boys. So is that gonna stop us from, you know, seeing him? No, we're just gonna keep it on the DL. You know, we're both engaged. We're both, you know, or he, well, he's married, we're engaged. We both have prior commitments, which is why this works so well. What? Full moon revelry. Oh, it's a, it's another fest. Oh, moon bathe, crackling bonfire, night swim, bear it all. That's nice, except I don't want to go. Unless it's going to make, wait, does it make my sims more romantic? Is it like a romantic thing? Mm, I mean, it could be, but it, I, I don't really want to, <laughs> I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go. We're gonna go. Okay, we are in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where we are. This is where the festival is. So let's come over here. No one, no one is nude, so that's good. We're gonna come over here together and hopefully we don't see anyone that we know, such as my wife. Hey, how are you dancing? You haven't even lit the, oh. I was about to say, no one lit the bonfire. Let's lit the bonfire. Yeah, and then we can moon bathe. Yup, let's moon bathe. Why are you putting out the, come on, let's have fun. Let's dance. Oh, that's not my man. Romance and cozy up to the bonfire. As long as no one we know is here, it'll be nice. Damn, y'all are, I know I said steamy makeout, but I didn't think you would still be making out. Oh wait, are there Sims swimming? Wait, what is that? Oh, is that a fishing spot? No, it's just fish, but we can swim. Swimming is available. I just think that no one is swimming. Let's go swim. Wait, can we skinny dip? I mean, like no one got naked, so let's 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 skinny dip. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We are the legend. We are the fun. Anybody gonna join? No one's joining Carmine. Nobody. It said to get bare. No, I said we weren't gonna, but we did. Nobody. Y'all are crazy. Oh, she's going back out. I expected more people to like embrace this part yeah like come on <laughs> not you took a selfie like that don't do that carmine get out of the fire okay no one else is getting nude so i feel i feel like we should put our clothes back on no one else got naked we were the only ones where's our where's um fabian oh he's oh there's food i didn't know there was food we have some tuna casserole and chips and salsa oh is the festivity over oh everyone left well, let's travel back. Let's, um, let's travel back home. Cause it is, it seems like everything's over. This was a cute little festival. I liked it. I totally forgot that she was a celebrity. Her engagement is totally in the paper, but you know what? As long as no one saw that we were cheating on her, it doesn't matter. So let's go woohoo with Fabian. Now, I don't make her woohoo with protection because I want yellow gen to pop up anytime. You know, either way, whether whenever po yellow gen pops up, um, I do have their nursery. This is Yellow Gen's nursery. So it's not like I'm planning for them, but they have to come, you know? They have to come, no matter what. So yeah, let's woohoo with Fabian and this date night with him. And then we're gonna sleep because we have class in the morning. In the morning, we will see if we're also pregnant. Now he can either stay or he can leave. Winterfest Eve, oh wait, tomorrow's Winterfest. We should probably go and see our family. Maybe we'll invite them over here. Carmen has a nice little apartment. All right. Carmine decided to wake up despite me not telling her to. And I was waiting for her to wake up because I was gonna have her take a pregnant oh, 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 pregnancy test immediately. Okay, she's not pregnant, so that's that's good, you know? At least not this time. So that means on this round, Fabian's not the father of Yellow Gen. But we are gonna go back to bed. What the fuck? I'm sitting here with Carmine and she just threw up on the ground. Um, not another pregnancy test. I, see, this is why I should watch my Sims. I think she woohooed with Fabian before he left. Did he even leave? Yeah, he did leave. Oh God, she's pregnant. Oh, Carmine, why'd you go in for double dipping? We were just not pregnant. Well, I guess Fabian is the father of Yellow Gen. We're gonna immediately, we're not gonna terminate the pregnancy, but we are gonna immediately send Carmine to the doctor 
and we're going to get a um so that we can see like the gender and number of the baby if i can because we need to have one baby yellow gen has to be an only well not an only child but they have to be red gen's only child so i have to make sure that she's not having twins and also we can see the gender oh now she has a weird burning sensation she's pregnant with one baby and it's a boy ah a baby boy <laughs> Not she wanted a daughter because I told her that she wanted a daughter and I wanted a daughter and now she's disappointed. Carmine, I'm so sorry. We need to also go to the doctor and see like, why are you having a weird burning sensation? She has gonorrhea and a UTI. That's so great, truly. Hey Carmine, I think Aaron Barry, my mother? You think my mother's cute? Okay, but don't have any more kids. We don't want siblings. I'll allow it. Shit. Aww. How are we gonna explain to our girl well, fiance that we're pregnant maybe we can lie to her and say the baby's hers maybe maybe she's dumb enough to believe it let's ask her if she wants children i'd like to have children see and look at that we um we're pregnant hello sir um let's announce having a temporary oh they're about to woohoo never mind never mind they're you have you shouldn't be okay well no fabian you cannot come over right now i like how we have the protection but we didn't use it what a wonderful day let's um we did say we we're gonna invite over our family for Winterfest, so let's invite over our mom, our brother, and our sister so that we can have a good family day. And maybe we can even reminisce about this. Now, I don't know, maybe we could just like get off with not telling Reese we're pregnant. We, we could just tell her that we're getting a little fat. And when the baby gets here, I read up some interesting- Mm, go ahead. I'll leave. They're having a freaky deaky night. Can y'all stop soliciting woohoo? Stop it. Stop. Stop it. No more woohoo. No more. We're done. We're done with that. Oh. Now she's insulting me. No, I don't have time for this. This was a very interesting Winterfest. We didn't even get to celebrate Winterfest. We didn't even, we didn't even tell her about the baby. That's the crazy part. We didn't get to. Well, I guess the baby's gonna come before the marriage. Now, it's about 3 a.m. and Carmen gotta pee because, you know, she got that pregnancy bladder. But her second trimester is about seven hours. Now, one thing I wanna do is, even though we know the gender of the baby, I wanna throw her a baby shower, at least, because we're not gonna throw a gender reveal. Um, because this is our first pregnancy together. We've never had a pregnant sip together, at least not in this legacy. And I really want to have a baby shower. Now, where are we gonna have the baby shower for Yellow Gen? Um, I'm gonna go decorate a venue. Okay, so I decorated her venue at my Shino Meadows, which is the park. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show the calendar so I can plan this baby shower. Um, I kinda wanna have it today. When do her classes end today? Since it, she's going to be in her second trimester in about six hours, I think second trimester would be a great time to have the baby shower. So I'm gonna have her go to her classes at 10 and then once she's done, with those classes at 10 a.m. because your last one ends at 11, we will plan the, the baby showers. Yeah, 12 p.m. we will have the baby shower and the dog needs a walk, so, but Carmen's and like, she she's not doing too well. She's reading a parenting blog. She's trying to like prepare for this damn baby that she doesn't want. She's just like, now what the fuck can I do? All right, we need to get to class. Carmen, go to class. Girl, you could have at least put some clothes on. Going, <gasps> You're pregnant too? Girl, we're having babies at the same time. I should have. Um, Reese, we are not home. Crap, we should probably talk to her. Oh, Fallon, we'll, we'll meet up. We'll meet up. Maybe our kids can be friends. But our baby shower is in about an hour. So I want to change her outfit. And I actually want to go and give her a new party wear. Just so that we can we can be prepared for this. So we're going to go give her a party wear. All right, so I did Carmine's outfit for her baby shower. She is really sad still because of the baby. But she's just going to have to get over it. Yeah, go cry it out. Go cry it out before you get in front of all these people. And they, they realize, like, you're not happy about your child. You know, we need, we need them to think that this is going to be, like, the best moments of our life. That even though we have hardships, we are going to love this baby even though we're not. Okay, here we are. Now, everyone's probably... You know, we, we have everyone that's here that really matters to us. Our sister Yasmin, our mom. Who the fuck is that? Our brother Phoenix, our twin. Let's go give her twin a hug. Or not, or not. Phoenix is like, let's just get inside for the festivities. So I did decorate it. This is what I decorated it with. I put some presents, some food, which we do need to pay for. So we're gonna serve an assortment here. Phoenix is over there with a pregnant woman because she is pregnant. Oh my God, Rosa, our other neighbor's pregnant. Damn is pregnant that's so nice let's go serve the banquet we'll do blue because we're having a boy i should have done this beforehand but it doesn't matter let's turn on the music let's turn on classical because you know this is a a very nice step actually you know what sims are gonna dance and you know what's gonna be weird them dancing to 
classical music. Oh, I was about to go flirt with Ren, but I f totally forgot. Girl, you're embarrassing me. You really are, Reese. But anyways, let's go talk to Phoenix. Oh. It's pregnancy hormones, guys. It's pregnancy hormones. It's just pregnancy hormones. I promise. Oh, she has to pee. Club, why are you flirting with me? That's disgusting. No, Reese, Reese. She flirted with me, Reese. Reese, she flirted with me. What is your problem? Carmine saw, Reese saw Carmine breaking, break her romantic boundaries and thinking of breaking up. Reese, 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 we did not do it. It was not our fault. Oh my God. It's not our fault. Go, go get her a kiss. Girl, do you see what you're doing, club? Don't make me kick you out of my baby shower. Not y'all looking at her like that. I understand like this is her baby shower and stuff, but you can't be ruining her relationship. Yeah, not y'all basically wearing the same outfit. I it together. Girl, stop talking. Go talk to your your wife, your fiance. She's about to break up with us. She's about to ruin everything. Maybe that's why she doesn't like her baby because she wanted a girl. Oh, thank you so much for the present. What is it? Hopefully something useful. I'm surprised that you guys are just now giving us presents. Like you guys are supposed to be giving us presents the entire time. Maybe I should have made this a gold event. Oh my God, can we please talk to our, our, our fiance? yeah see you don't have to be so mad at me exactly it was just club being very weird you want to cuddle on the couch we can cuddle on the couch you're gonna help me raise this baby it's our little miracle and everything's gonna be okay i'm surprised you haven't questioned how we got pregnant but it's all good girl it's all good because we never told her we're pregnant and we're not going to oh club you gave me a gift for my baby oh mom stop this is so cute, Aaron. Aaron, I'm so happy that you're excited because you and this baby are gonna be best friends. You're gonna be so good friends with your your um grandson. And if Aaron dies before this baby um is old enough to be friends with her, I'm probably going to have her him be friends with his uncle. Okay, so we got some of course you gave us brain buster blocks for the baby. And then we got a little like thing. Now I already have like basically everything for the baby um in our apartment but it's really nice that everyone gives us gifts what the fuck oh the party's over bye everyone goodbye i was wondering why her cue was full can we take any of this food home since I, yeah we, we're taking all this food home i am not leaving any of this here all right we're gonna go home and i guess next time we see carmen carmine we need to go do our homework that's what we need to do okay i accidentally made a mistake and i deleted carmine's pregnancy mood lit and in order to fix that i have to actually make her go into labor so we're about to go have a baby now i'm gonna go and send her to have the baby alone at the hot i don't even think i could send her to have the baby alone oh my god her final exams are today i'm gonna have to get like a bassinet to have this baby i did not mean for this baby to come she was in her third trimester but we still had time and now we don't have time because the baby's coming um so let's go get a bassinet for a little baby okay okay baby's coming i i i made it all right so here's the baby i don't even have a name for him i don't even have a name for him um i'll go find a name Okay, so I think I'm gonna name him Apollo, like Apollo Berry. I think that's a cute name. Oh, he broke him. Well, Apollo, we, as much as we would love to continue this, we need to go to class. So, good luck, little guy. We'll make you over later, because we need to go to class. <laughs> Imagine getting, getting born and immediately your mom's just like, anyways, I gotta get to my exam. So because Co Apollo's um, skin tone is fucked up, I'm gonna age him up. And this is Ham's. Oh my god, he's already wearing a yellow. He knew the assignment. I'm gonna bring him to cast and I'm gonna make him over. All right, Carmine's done with her exams and baby boy Apollo is, he's here. He's, he's very sad. I think he understands that the rest of his life is about to be really chaotic because his mother is Carmine. But don't worry, Apollo, it's not gonna be that bad. Now, um, I am pretty much done with this episode. I feel like we've done so much. We got engaged, we went on a date. We had a baby, we had a baby shower. We, we did so much that I think this would be a great time to end this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out. In the next part, we will see whether or not Carmine, well, she graduated from university or if she didn't, which hopefully she did because I don't wanna have to do university again. So thank you all so much for hanging out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and 
I'll see you all next time.